All right, hello everyone, it's OP Secure and welcome to the Concepts of Redstone, a series in which I, OPSEC, take you through the wonderful world of Redstone from the very beginnings to the very complex concepts. In this episode, we will be covering dispensers and droppers. Press start. Right off the bat, they look pretty similar to each other, except for the fact that the one is kind of happy, the other one is surprised. Well, the happy block is actually the dropper, and the surprise block is the dispenser. At their very core, what they both do is dispense items when powerproof redstone. So right here we are powering this block using this lever, which is then picked up by this dropper, which drops items, as you can see. And then the dispensers do pretty much the same thing. Except for the fact that the dispensers can also do a wide variety of different things. When you place a few certain items inside a dispenser, the dispenser will use the item instead of dropping it. So for example, if you put a flint and steel in there and then press the lever, as you can see, it will use the flint and steel by lighting up this block. Water buckets and lava buckets and water buckets with fish, it will basically just dispense the water then an empty bucket will pick up the water. What does it mean that it will pick up the water? Well, as you can see, right now it's empty. When we do this, it will be full again. And then we can dispense it again and pick it up again. It can also dispense minecarts when it has a rail in front of it, or boats if there's water in front of it. It can also equip player with armor. As you can see, if we walk up to this dispenser and click this lever, I get equipped with this armor piece. And then it can also throw throwable potions as well as lingering potions. It can also shoot arrows. And then if you put bone meal inside of it and place it in front of some crops, it will eventually grow the crops. Fire charges will be dispensed like this. Fireworks will also be dispensed like this. If it has a pumpkin or some form of head inside of it, and then it can complete a mob creation, like for example an iron golem or a wither, then it will place a little block completing this mob here. It can also dispense eggs, as well as snowballs and XP bottles. It can also dispense shaker boxes. If placed next to a sheep, it can also shear it with shears inside of it. It can also spawn mobs using spawn eggs from creative mode, and it can also dispense TNT. which, as a reminder, will not happen if you put it inside of a dropper. But putting those special features aside, droppers and dispensers are basically used for item transportation. And a very neat little trick, which was removed but then added back to the game, was, or rather is, simple elevators like this. If you put a dropper or a dispenser, like this, and then blocks in this way, all the way up. No matter what block this is, an item will go through all the blocks until there are no blocks at the top of it. So if we do this, we can see this piece of wood travels all the way up. So then it would obviously make sense to automatically dispense items from the droppers or dispensers if there are any inside of it. So you could probably think of something like this. This here is exactly the same as this here, it just uses less pieces of redstone. And so what this does is it checks if there are any items inside of this dropper. It powers this block, which powers this piece of redstone, which powers this block, which powers this dispenser, sorry, repeater which powers this block, which powers this piece of redstone, which powers the dispenser. And so, it will dispense items put inside of it. The downside being that if you put more than one, it will only dispense one of those items. Because it's already on, it didn't go off and you have to supply the dropper with a pulse. If you already power a dropper or a dispenser, it will not dispense any items until its state is back to being unpowered. So if you do this, it will dispense an item, but if you do this, 
it will not because it's already being powered by this lever right here. So the same kind of thing happens here. It's already powered, so it has no reason to dispense an item, which we can solve using a neat little trick which we have learned in the last episode. If in the comparison mode, the side input is stronger than the rear input, the comparator will turn off. Meaning that if we put items in here, it will dispense all of them using this little clock thingy right here. And there are very, very many designs which you can use. Honestly, you just need to think about which design fits your situation the best and then think of possible ways of wiring it up. So for example, you could have something like this, have it flush with the wall, or you could even have something like this, which doesn't require any blocks right here. And honestly, all you need to do is just have the... And honestly, all you have to do is just have the contents of the dispenser slash dropper checked by a comparator. You then want to reinforce this output and try and back into the comparator, meaning that it will create a clock dispensing all the items inside of the dropper slash dispenser. Also, one last thing I wanted to point out, which I forgot in the last episode, Comparators can read through one block. So if you have a dispenser right here, a comparator will be able to read through that block what's inside of this dispenser, sorry, dropper. It will also obviously work like this, but it will not work like this, nor will it work like this, because the comparator and the dispenser or dropper or chest or anything have to be in a straight line. Also, the next thing I wanted to add to the comparator video is the fact that it can interact with lecterns, which were added in 1.14, which came out just a few days ago. How it works is basically, look how many pages are open and adjust the redstone signal uh, accordingly. So for example, if you have 15 pages, if you have the 15th page open, then this piece of redstone will be Will be lit. If you have the first page open, then the first piece of redstone will be lit and no others. If you have 30 pages, the 30th page is open, and then if you have the 15th page open, it will be somewhere in the middle. And then obviously, if the book is not in the lecture anymore, it will be set to zero. But anyway, I feel like this would be everything for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please do ensure you click the like button if you enjoyed this episode. And do make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you later.